Welcome back guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to start an application and connect with that application to your Ignite cluster that is being managed uh, by console center. And there are some tricks, so there are some changes that we have to do in our application configuration settings to ensure that uh, the application is able to connect to your cluster and will be monitored by your tool without any issues. So let's check it out. And uh, what, we, what we have already done in the first video of this series, uh, which you can find uh, in the description to this one, we have already started a local cluster of two Ignite nodes on my local laptop. And this cluster is interconnected with the hosted version of Control Center that is deployed and managed by Grid Game. So these are my two nodes. With the next step, as I said, let's start an application. And actually I'm going to start uh, one of the examples that is shipped with every Apache Ignite distribution. So my IntelliJ ID environment uh, is up and running. So let me find uh, uh, Apache Ignite on my laptop and I'm opening this examples folder. All right, so far so good. Uh, loading of the data, that's my own project. Took some time, but anyway, I'm going to show you this example, SQL DML example. So the example, what it does, it connects to your cluster, creates some tables, persons and caches, and inserts and updates, deletes some data using SQL statements, all right? But the point of this is, let, let's do this, let's do some changes. I don't want to shut down this node when it's started. Also, I want this application to connect in the client mode, not the server. Uh, yep, client mode, we need to say true for sure. And then once those caches are created, I don't want to destroy them. I want to keep using them. All right, so I'm just cleaning this a little bit. Good, so far so good. Let me quickly uh, reformat my code. The application is ready, so everything looks like it's ready. Let's just start this application. We are running it. All right, continue anyway. Yeah, there are some issues with the settings, but I think it's not a big deal. We will be able to start this application. Yep, as always, some of the exceptions. Let's restart it, continue anyway. All right, it's compiling, it's starting. But then, you know, we've got some exception. What happened? If you check the stack trace, uh, the application complains that it cannot find this class, Control Center Asian Configuration, which means that we also, if you're connecting with a thick client, you have to provide uh, Control Center Agent libraries so that your thick client is also monitored. So let's do this. I need to, I go to this documentation page uh, of Control Center. And these are the changes I need to do. I need to use this grid gain repository and I need to use a special version of control center for my Ignite distribution. Let me open the POM XML file. Here is my repositories list. I'm adding grid gain repository and then I need to add another dependency, which is uh, grid gain control center control center agent and the version would be yep this one that's the version of my ignite cluster good let's start let's try to restart this application i think that everything should work as expected this time okay we are compiling it we are starting it and wonderful, no more exceptions this time, the application executed successfully, which means that we have already have some caches and tables. So far so good, we fixed it. We just needed to update uh, the POM XML settings. And now if you jump back to your control center, you see that this client is connected. I did not shut it down. You have, you know, some metrics on your, like related to the CPU usage and heap usage. And also if you go to the SQL tab right now, you can see that all this kind of two tables, so caches were created, 
and you can even you know query those from uh, this SQL screen. Before I do this, I also want to use. I know that the, the schema name is as follows. Let me select it. I execute this query, and everything is ready. So easy, right? Uh, you have your cluster running. It's connected with control center, and then that's how you connect to that deployment with your applications. Just don't forget to update your PAM XML files uh, by adding proper artifacts. Thank you. Stay tuned.